Hey everyone, um, so I haven't done any videos like this in the past, um, but I was just goofing around on YouTube and thought that I would give a review on feather extensions. Um, you actually might not be able to see mine. Oh yeah, I guess you can. Um, I got mine like a month ago and um, I'd been looking and looking and looking for a salon in my area that did them and I could not find anything online. Um, well, I was at a street fair um, and having to walk by this little booth and the woman was doing feather extensions. I was like, oh my gosh. So I probably paid too much for mine. Um, but um, the website that I know she got her extensions from is um, featherhead.com, I believe. Um, if that's not what it is, I'll put whatever it is down in the bottom bar. Um, and yeah, so let me just show you. Um, let me see if I can get it out. <laughs> so the feather extension is actually attached to a couple of pieces of your hair. And let's see, mine are zebra print. Um, there's this one that's kind of like blonde, which is cool because my hair is blonde. There's this orange one, which I actually didn't even know was there until like two days ago. Oh, hold on, sorry, the lighting in here is really, really weird. All right, that's better. And then there's a second zebra one that's kind of like bluish almost. I don't know if you can tell uh, if my camera would focus, but whatever. And then this one's like an aqua blue striped one. There's actually three of them. One, two, three. And this third one is wicked long. It actually goes the full length of my hair. And it's cool because a couple of them are shorter. And um, my hair is layered shorter and then longer. So it actually, it works out kind of cool. Why does it look so weird right now? Um, oh, and I wanted to show you how they attach it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can get to it. Do you see, I don't know if you can see. Do you see the little bead right there? It's actually like this little um, crimp bead. It looks almost like um, do you remember those parlor beads? Like, you stick them on the little pegboard and then you iron them. It almost looks like that, um, but it has rubber on the inside. Um, and all they do is, the feathers are like, I have like eight of them or whatever. Um, they're actually glued together at the top. And what they do is they take and they get them as close to the top of your head as possible. And they take this little, I don't even know what it is, like little threader thing. And they pull the extension and your hair through and then take a pair of pliers and crimp it. Um, mine, um, for the set of eight of them, for them to put them in for me and for me to actually buy the feathers, um, was like $45 I think, which is, like I said, it's actually pretty expensive. But here's the cool thing I found out afterward. Um, you can go online to the website, like I said, I'll link it down below, um, and you can buy a bulk amount of feathers, and, um, then you can actually buy these little crimp bead things, you can buy them at a Sally Beauty Supply, and you can buy them, they come in blonde, brown, and black from what I saw, and, um, the cool thing about the extensions is, like, I straightened my hair today, I know you can't really tell, but, um, you can actually straighten these, you can curl them, you just wash them. Um, the only thing I did notice was at the beginning, they they always put it close to the root of wherever you want it. Mine's actually close to the top of my head, so like if I part my head down the hair down the center, you can see it. But they always put it really close to the root when they start, because obviously your hair grows out. And um, it was poking me for like a couple of couple of weeks. Um, because the feathers where they glued together are really pointy. Um, but 
Yeah, so I think you could probably just buy the feathers online and have your mom or a friend or something crimp them in for you and you'd probably save like $30 by doing it that way. Um, but yeah, I love mine. Um, sometimes I lose them, like, when I put my hair up, you can't really see it, like, in the front, which I wish you could a little more, but it is what it is. Um, but you can see it's, like, really cool if I, like, put my hair up in, like, a messy bun, because the feathers go, like, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I love mine. Um, like I said, I've had mine about a month, so there's about, like, this much space between the root and where the bead is now so next time I go to get my hair cut I'm gonna actually take it out you just pop you crimp the bead the opposite direction um and I'm gonna pop that out and um get my hair cut and then put it right back in um they've only been really popular for like a year or whatever actually less than that I think a few months but um the woman who did mine said, you know, they'll last as long as you take care of them. So, we'll see. I'll I'll do another review if they start, like, I don't know what they would do, like, disintegrate or something. They're not made out of plastic. They're actual feathers. They're, um, I know some people are going to hate on me for this, but they're actually, they're rooster tail feathers. Um, and from what I understand, they just pluck the feather and don't you know, harm the rooster in any other way, and their feathers grow back, um, which is why they're so skinny. Um, I think some of the other, I don't know what the animals, the other feathers come from, but they're not plastic, which is why they last such a long time. Um, so if you'd like to know more information, um, like I said, I'm going to link the website for the feathers down below, and you can always feel free to message me and make sure you subscribe and go watch my singing videos and um oh I also have a new vlog channel um and you should totally check that out I'll put the link somewhere in this area okay um until next time ciao